Head over to miniaturemarket.com where they have thousands of board games at discounted prices and you can sign up for product alerts. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here and today we're going to be riding trains all around Poland. But not just in Poland, we're going to be taking those trains and building them out to neighboring countries and trying to get there as fast as we can to get bonus points. Today we're looking at Ticket to Ride Poland. This is a map pack 6.5 and it's a 0.5 because it's not a very wide release from what I'm told they're only going to sell it in Poland. This is an official map from Days of Wonder. It's not a fan map uh, but it was there at Essen and they had some copies to sell but other than that I heard that they're only going to be selling it in Poland. Uh, so I got my hands on one of these uh, from borrowing it from a friend for a while and I got to play it. So let me show you how it's played. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you on the other side. In Ticket to Ride Poland, there's the normal city to city cards that you'll score like usual, but there's also country cards that you'll be combining together to try to be the first ones to these different countries. Now here's the board here. It's just a four panel board. It's small, but it's very tight. It's very heavy on blocking. Now the cards that I just showed you, the country cards, are set next to each of the countries that surround the different cities here in Poland. Now these work in an interesting way. If you're able to connect just to one of these countries, you don't do anything. But if this same train link ends up connecting to any other country, like something like this, you take one card from all of the connected countries. And the cards on top are worth more than ones below. So this one's worth six, and this is worth six, but the next ones, for next players that get there, or if I do it again later, it'll be worth less points. For example, let's say I get this train, I get it to go over here, I'll get this single card, it's the only one there, and this one, and this one. And if I was able to continue that link, I would get this one, which is seven, and I'd get these other ones because it's connected just like that. Now those are completely gone. Now on this map, the double normal routes are, you know, you only use one of them for two or three players, uh, but the routes that go into a country can be, you know, you can't block those. So I could go here and uh, two other players could go to those two routes there. None of those are blocked regardless of the amount of players. And that allows people to get to those different countries. Now at the same time you're still trying to get tickets and the tickets range between 1 and 13. Most of them are less than 10 so they're smaller routes they're, but there is a lot of blocking so they're, they're just as hard to get. All right, now this map, as you saw, is two to four players and it's a, just a little four panel board, but man, is this a tight map. I tend to like tight maps, like the little Switzerland two to three player map. This one's really tight too. Uh, and, and I like how tight this map is, uh, which makes this map very block heavy. Uh, if you like tight maps where you're constantly running into each other, even with two players and blocking each other, whether you're trying to or not, this map has that. I tend to like that aspect. And so I liked it here. But the biggest thing is the comboing of those countries. And this was a fascinating concept here. It's a simple concept, but it's great. You go to one of those countries, which by the way, those little spots that you can go to any of the countries there, anybody can go there. So you can't get blocked from there, but you can't block other players either uh, from that specific spot, just the very end spots. But you're trying to combo these countries together, so you go to one, and when you go to a second one that's linked, you get bonus cards from both. And then if you link that to another one, you get cards from all three. And it's like this cascading effect that is very fun to trigger. But this also uh, you know, lends itself to a game of chicken, where you've built up, and you're basically right next to one of those countries, but you're like, okay, well, there's nobody else that's linked to here, so I'm going to kind of wait. I don't need to go rush and get this card now unless one of the other ones that I've linked someone's close to. But if no one's close to any of those ones that I'm linked, I can start working on other things, work on some other tickets. And then when someone starts to get close, oh, I better work on this fast and fast. And it kind of has this ebb and flow of this uh, lull and then excitement and a lull and then excitement. I mean, the whole game's exciting, but like trying to figure out when to drop those trains to work on linking those together, it's really fun. Uh, this It was such a unique thing that I hadn't seen Ticket to Ride before, and it worked so, so well. Um, so I like how you're doing that. You're trying to drain those ticket cards, uh, those, those country cards of the highest points, and once they start getting sort of all picked over, then you can maybe concentrate a little bit more on tickets, and you're concentrating on the tickets during the game. But for a little bit while, though, you're going to be trying to really get those big points uh, for, for the country bonuses. So overall, I really, really loved this map. Oh, man, I wish they... I hope, Days of Wonder, please release this in a wider release, because this is one of my favorite expansion maps for sure. However, on the negative side, 
it is very tight. It can be kind of mean, and it might be too tight and mean for some players. Uh, and obviously, as I mentioned, it's it's very hard to find, to, to, to get here, at least in North America. So, Days of Wonder, please bring this in wider distribution. This is a fantastic map, one of my favorites for lower player counts for sure, and that is Ticket to Ride Poland. Did you miss the Game Topper 2.0 Kickstarter? Have no fear, it's not too late to get in on the ultimate gaming accessory. Convert your table into a high quality gaming table with a fully portable game topper system and take advantage of some of the best 3mm premium gaming mats in the industry. New styles, new sizes, and new accessories can be yours. Upgrade every game you play by late backing now at GameToppersLLC.com.